I'm just, I'm so happy that it's spring. I know you're still partially happy. Still chilly. No. It is chilly, but the rain is supposed to be gone now for an indisclosed A amount of time. <laughs> and I'm very, very grateful. Do you know, we had record-breaking highest amount of snowfall ever yeah. up at Mammoth. 70 feet. I know, it's insane. Of snow. And that's that's just the cocaine. Karen Johar was here. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for being here. Follow again. Subscribe to the like button. What was it I was going to say to stupid babies? I had a question from somebody, and I thought I was going to say it here. Ben Chutz. No. Oh. I don't remember what it was. Oh, fun fact. Yes. Just saw a casting on on Twitter. Uh, they're doing an adaption of Sherlock. Who's they? In somebody in India. Some. Really? Yes. And we're talking about. Do you know Sherlock. who they casted as Sherlock? As the Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock? I don't know if it's going to be like a direct adaption, but they're doing Sherlock. They're doing a Sherlock Holmes. Something. Okay. I don't know if it's in a direct adaption of the series Got it. or if it's just okay. a telling. Okay. And they've cast someone to play Sherlock Holmes. Let me ask you, let me just narrow it down to industries. Is it Hindi? Hindi. Okay. Who do you think would be a great casting? For show? Sherlock Holmes. Well, you're going to go one of two directions. You're either going to go a little more on the mature side, on experienced. More on the acting side. It's so it's acting. Acting. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Raj Kumar Rao. No. KK Menon. Oh, great choice. Yeah, right? Great choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great choice. He's gonna fucking kill oh, that. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, he's that's gonna, awesome. He's gonna he's gonna absolutely destroy that role. It's gonna be amazing. Oh. Uh anyways, today we got a uh so Priyanka Chopra has made waves. Uh as everybody knows. This she week. always does. Uh, but this is, uh, obviously, she went on Armchair Doctor, whatever, Dak Shepard's podcast. Called, right, right. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, and she talked about a lot. She did. Uh, and she and, probably got a lot of blowback. She yes. probably got a lot of heat. In terms of, like, telling why she loved Bollywood. Yeah. Uh, why, uh, so obviously, certain things of uh, different people in there. Also, why um, she got that RRR. Uh, she misspoke, obviously, there. Yeah. Uh, and, and called it a Tamil film. Come on, I mean, yeah. and that's a you clear. get a pass. That's, she 100% knows it's a Tamil film. She Tulu knows it's a Tulugu film. Anyways, but this is a, a couple of the highlights of it because obviously it's okay, very great. long and I don't, I'm pretty sure it's a copyrighted thing. Yeah. His entire podcast. Yeah. Because uh, it's Spotify. He has a Massive, 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 body. massive, yeah. Um, so these are, I, I haven't seen the podcast. You Neither have, have I, okay. no. So these are some clips of the stuff that she's talking No, about. I always, I always try to stay away from stuff in, in case, and that is something to know. If you, if you send me reels or videos on Instagram and I'm not responding to those, it's because I don't want to see something that's going to potentially be on the channel. I always make it a point to keep that stuff away from me as much as possible. Here we go. I was... Beautiful dress. I've never said this, so I'm gonna say it. Priyanka Chopra is opening up about why she made a major change in her career. Before the global superstar expanded her career into American film and television in the mid-2010s, she was a Bollywood sensation. And in is. a new interview with Dax Shepard on his Armchair Expert podcast... I love that look. Priyanka Gorgeous. ...on why she decided to transition away from Bollywood and move to the U.S., something she said she'd never detailed before. I was being pushed into a corner in the industry. I had people not casting me for reasons. I had beef with people. And That's exciting. Again, I'm not good at the... Playing that game. The politics. Mm -hmm. So I kind of was tired of the politics. I was just like, I need a break. Priyanka got the opportunity to go to the States to pursue a music career, and she was excited for that change of pace. This music thing gave me an opportunity to go into another part of the world, not crave for the movies I wanted to get, but I would require to schmooze certain clubs and like mm. cliques of people yeah. and it would require like- Yeah, it sounds awful. And I had worked for a long time by then, but I didn't feel like I wanted to do it. Priyanka that went makes to sense. the US and dove headfirst into music. She had a deal with Interscope Records and recalled getting to work alongside Pharrell, Will I Am, Pitbull, and other music superstars, but ultimately realized acting was more for her. 
I got completely wow. caught up in this music thing and I was like, yeah, I'm a pop star now. Forget okay. doing movies. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly to realize I was much better at my day job than I was. <laughs> 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 Priyanka started looking for Hollywood. Ah, so many great looks. Quote, Having trouble back at home anyway, just being cast in the kind of movies that I wanted to be cast in. She reflected just on her go talk to Vishal. Herself in a different <laughs> country's film scene. I'm just going to take meetings. Will people take meetings with me? And that was so hard and humbling. And I realized I'm not going to carry the baggage of my career from another country and assume and be entitled that I'm going to mm. get that kind of treatment. But that's a very abrupt adjustment. Yes. It was hard. <laughs> Priyanka's first major U.S. role was as Alex Parrish in Quantico, mm. and it was one she fought hard for, hiring an acting coach and doing lots of preparation. When I got the job, I realized that that's all it takes, and that comes very naturally to me, is prep. So mm. with every job that I have gotten from, like, smaller roles in features that I did, which I needed to, to kind of build my English language filmography, I had a lot of people who knew me from my Indian film days questioning why I went to Hollywood to do small parts and be great movies is what they would say. Right. That really prepared me to have a sense of accomplishment because I saw so many other girls in contention for that part and I worked mm. on it and I got it. Mm. Priyanka has of course gone on to land so many more Hollywood roles, including The Matrix Resurrections and Isn't It Romantic? And she even returned to Indian film for the 2019 Hindi language movie The Sky is Pink. Her latest role is in the upcoming action series, Citadel. And she recently talked to Access Hollywood all about it. You know, I needed to flex those muscles again. Uh, I was tired sitting at home. I was like, I was about to go to work. You know, my fists were ready. <laughs> Did you have to go to like a boot camp? Are we like, just, like it was an intense or not? It was not easy. I'm laughing about it, but it was like, yeah. And well, Quantico helped her bring over some of that yeah. training as well. Constantly training, constantly doing stunts. Not too during COVID, so it was a very depressing time. But we created an amazing show. Please watch it. <laughs> oh, ah, okay, yeah. They could, I'm assuming they could only use so much because of it's yeah heavily copyrighted for sure. Uh, from for the Spotify, I probably paid a pretty penny to uh, have yeah. the exclusive rights yeah. uh, to that. But that's very interesting because obviously I didn't I didn't know that she I knew obviously she's been over here. Yeah. I didn't know she left specifically. Yeah, because of certain things that would happen. And I've heard some people at least there are rumors that it's something to do with like her relationship with Karen Johar. Oh, I find very interesting. Very interesting. I, I don't uh, know anything about that. It could well, just be a rumor, it, you know. It it should come as no surprise that uh, and it, it's the same here. Th there's it's all based on relationships. Yeah. Good and bad. And I didn't know that. I had simply thought, based on not having that knowledge, yeah. and she doesn't, I don't recall that in her book, because she said, I've never talked about this. I, it just, the impression I had from both her book and seeing her career is that coming to Hollywood was just a, nat a natural progression. expansion yeah. and, and progression of wanting to be an international brand, Yeah. Um, as, as well as why she's also with her husband investing in things like the restaurant and other things. She's become an international brand. Yeah. Did not know that there was a concerted, definitive decision to leave the yeah. industry in India um, and just put all your chips on the table here. The fact that she says people wouldn't cast her. Yeah. Which kind of insane, right? I mean, obviously, it, there's no way she's talking about like Vishal because <laughs> he's just, he's no. not that kind of person. No. And, you know, the kind of work, but also those aren't the films that will give her the biggest box office. Obviously. True. That's like working with Anyar Akashi. And, and you're and, probably just going to have a small little opening and it's for because you want to do the acting work. Yes. And there's a lot to unpack when somebody says, I, I wouldn't get cast. There's a lot to unpack in there. It could be. And the implication that seems here yeah. is doors were closed on her yeah. unjustly. Yeah. There's also the other side of the coin where she was adamant about a part that she felt she was right for and wanted. And the creators said, we don't think you're right for it. Yeah. And so she didn't get cast. Yeah. It, where those two are, the you know, the but, nice thing is it's, it's you know, I, I, I don't I don't see her out there spewing poison toward anybody in this. No. Yeah. At I, all. I don't think she's that kind of person either. No. Uh, that would throw anybody under the bus. Not there. at all. Um, but I hope she comes back. Uh, I mean, it might be stuff that she just like in The Sky is Pink, produces. Yeah. And that's why she's like, I'm coming back, but I'm the boss. So right. I get to... Or White Tiger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that... was Which one was actually... Because one of them was Hollywood. Sky... 
Which one was Hollywood? Was this guy's pink or was it White Tiger? That's a good question. I can't remember. I don't remember. Anyways, not that it matters. Uh, but obviously both those, I believe she produced. Yes. Right? She had controlling power of that, yeah. I mean, I, it's... It, it, no. Whenever I, you're at a certain level, it's kind of like, why aren't you producing after a certain time? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, why wouldn't you want to be your own boss in creative control of yeah. most everything? And I, I, I've got to... money. <laughs> I've got to say, I've never heard anything from anybody in the industry negative about Priyanka. Granted, I don't have a lot of folks that we would be in communication with who are one degree away in yeah. relationship with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But typically, you do hear about those kinds yeah. of things. Yeah, you do. And um, so, yeah, I, I... I hope her career continues to progress in Hollywood and in Indian film industry uh, because I think she would be dearly missed if she never worked in... She would. ...the indie film industry again. No, she would. And she's really... She's really one of the actors on the list. I, I, every actor, I think, has a list of actors that when they watch them, you want to work with them because great actors bring out the best in you. And it's so rewarding to work with a great actor. And Priyanka is one of those actors that's on the list of actors that I would love yeah, to work with. I'd love to talk to her as well because she'd be very yeah, interesting to talk to. Very interesting. I'd love to talk worlds. to. I'd love to talk to both her and her husband about so many things. I have consistently, I have consistently seen in my mind's eye, uh, and Drani and I talking with her and her husband, just. Off, you know, privately, they I find their lives to be so fascinating, mm. and we obviously we have that connection of he's an American guy, I'm an Indian guy. Obviously, we have stark differences in our careers. Not uh, net worth, but, though. Yeah, no, net worth, pretty dang close. <laughs> Pretty dang close. So, anyways, but yeah, that was uh, very informative. I would, great. I would actually love to listen to the entire podcast. Yeah, me uh, too. To actually uh, hear all, so I might check that out. Um, but uh, let us know uh, what you thought about it, and what should be our next Priyanka Chopra film? Yeah, uh, we still have a lot to get to of hers, so please let us know what that should be down below. Josh!